See, I remember my days of smoking marijuana. I told myself I would stop, but I was one of those people who were addicted to marijuana, and I knew I wouldn't have stopped if it wasn't for what happened to me this day. <sighs> I went to go get a bag, and I got the bag and I was on my way home. At the time I was riding a bicycle, and I went to my supplier to go buy a bag. And on my way home, I want to let you guys know that I never forgot any details. I remember this day like it was yesterday. This is a day I will never forget for as long as I live. I remember I was on my way home on a bike. I was riding my bike and I stopped. I don't want to say I stopped at someone's house for you guys to think that I was trespassing. It wasn't a house, it was more like some apartments. And there was like a bench there. And I remember I had sat on that bench. And when I sat on the bench, I never I never did this. Never did this. I sat on the bench. And I was on that bench for about five to six minutes. And if I were to take a guess how long ago this was, I would say this happened like anywhere from three to four years ago. And even after three to four years, I still cannot tell you guys what I was thinking about or why I sat on that bench and started to stare into space to the point where a lady looked at me and she, the look on her face was a puzzling look. She was looking puzzled like something doesn't seem right on this young man. And I sat there for a couple minutes. <laughs> and then I got up when I got up, I continued, continued my journey back home. And then just, just like a minute or two before I reached home, I saw a chemtrail above my head. And from that point on is when I knew they were trying to take people out. When I saw that chemtrail, I don't know why, but it reminded me of a TI that I was watching on YouTube. In a future vid, I'll tell you guys what TI that is. But for now, I'm just gonna keep his name anonymous. But it reminded me of a TI that I watched on YouTube. I don't know why, as soon as I saw the chemtrail, it just reminded me of him. And in my mind, I told him to rest in peace. And I hope you're at peace now for all that you put up in this world, all that you went through. And um, again, this never happened. I never did this any day. I used to always, I used to always go every single day and go buy me a bag. I never stopped and stared into space besides this one day when this happened to me. But um. But um, when I went home, I remember I took a shower and I smoked the joint. And then I looked in the mirror. <laughs> Couldn't stop crying. I remember I looked in the mirror. And when I looked in the mirror, I saw what I believed to be a death angel. It scared me so much that it sent me into a, a panic attack. And I had heart palpitations and I was hyperventilating. Ever since then, my life was never the same again.
<laughs> Ever since then, my life was never the same again. <laughs> Open up your eyes, YouTube. For all the people who watch this video, Open up your eyes before it's too late. Make my story be an example to all those people who don't know what's going on and haven't opened up their eyes yet. Open up your eyes before it's too late. I'm trying to tell you guys, we are living in a new world. <laughs> Open up your eyes, YouTube, please. I'm begging you. Open up your eyes before it's too late. Thanks for watching this video. Listen to what I had to say. Have a good day. God bless. <laughs>